right into the next one, which is Trey Ogden versus Daniel Zell Huber. Daniel Zell Huber, um, he's a very good prospect that's coming up. He'll be making his UFC debut in this fight. He's 12 and 0, nine by finish, mostly by KO. He's only 23 years old. He's got a 77 inch reach at 155. And he looks like he can be Ryan Gar- Garcia's cousin or twin. Like they look exactly alike. Uh, he has finished uh, his last three fights by first round KO2. Comes from a Muay Thai and BJJ background, but he's more of a striker, though, I would say. He's a very dynamic striker. His kicks, I think, are one of the, like, pretty insane. I think they might be the strongest part of his game. Uh, the guy is, like, super tall and he's all legs, um, which just makes him even more of a threat and makes his kicks even more effective. And his punching is powerful. Even his jab has a ton of pop in it. Trey Ogden made his debut in his last time out on short notice against a tough guy in Jordan Leavitt, and he fell short. Hell of a performance, but he lost a split decision and showed his toughness. And he is a great grappler. He is also, um, he, you know, he's also won 11 of his 15 wins by sub. Overall, though, I think this is a good debut matchup for Zell Huber. Ogden is going to have some trouble closing the distance, especially at a six inch reach advantage. Um, well, Zell Huber is going to have a six inch reach advantage. And Zell Huber has very good takedown defense. And honestly, I think this is a step down in competition for Zell Huber from his contender series fight against Lucas Almeida. If you ever watched Lucas Almeida, that guy's an absolute stud. Um, so I think this actually slightly stepped down in competition. And I like Zell Huber a lot in his UFC debut.